Hello Virgo and welcome to your mid-December 2021 to mid-January 2022 committed love reading. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with every one of you so please take what resonates and leave the rest. If you are new here Virgo, welcome to my channel Force for the Trees. I appreciate you all being here. If you are returning, thank you so much for your trust and support, for your likes, shares and subscribes, for all the comments, all the things that you all do. I appreciate you all. I'm going to pull three cards for overall energy for you. Beautiful. And we are going to start the reading from there. And one more. Beautiful. All right. Let me center that a little bit. Move the glare. A lot better. A lot better. And drop it down. All right. So we have the flowers. And let me see here. We have the flowers. And we have what? 9, 21, and 28. I like that. I like the progression. <clears throat> Excuse me, the progression. Flowers are all about gifts, bounty, um, fulfillment, happiness, joy, beauty, all the things you would associate with somebody who gives you a bouquet of flowers or you see, you see really pretty flowers out. You kind of have that, um, you know, that feeling of, oh, how pretty and, and how nice and how kind of you or whatever. You have the mountain. So whatever this relationship is, you know, it could be very fulfilling but it also comes with its challenges and then you have the man card and i find that interesting because um it is it can be your friend your soul partner um you know your partner and there's a man in the deck i guess it could also be a woman it's kind of like the tarot um, but it's your partner it's somebody that works hard and tries to provide the best as they can but again, it doesn't come without obstacles. No relationship is going to be easy. There's always something to overcome. There's always obstacles. There's always hills to climb. There's always um, movement, right? Which is a good thing. You want movement. You want movement in a relationship. You surely don't want a stagnant relationship. And it's card 21 and 2 and 1 is 3. And that's a card of growth. So a lot of times what we... Um, think of as a challenge or we think of uh, what we experience is helping us grow so it's really a beautiful card it's a card of happiness and love and fulfillment and yes there's obstacles but you have a strong partner on your side that is helping you to you know to move forward and take care of the things that need to be taken care of so says those cards we will pull the tarot and see what they say since I get this lined up, this side will be for you. This side will be for your partner. If you happen to have more than one partner, Virgo, then you will have to discern and know who that's for, who that is for. All right. Let us see what we have for Virgo. Mid-December to mid-January 2021. Wow. The Hermit. Queen of Wands, Hermit, Seven of Swords. Your challenge, Virgo. And your action. Nope. Those are two. And your action will be on your partner side. Magician, interesting. And their challenge and their action right there all right bottom of the deck for both of you guys we have the three of cups hmm this can be a card of um, going out with friends having a good time socializing it can also portend um, a threesome which is fine if you all agree to that um, but if you don't and you are monogamous, then that might be an issue. So that, that's a possibility there. But it can also just be where you need to spend more time out with other people. You might need to spend some time out, time out with friends. Maybe go out as a group. Maybe maybe go out as, you know, couples or whatever. Um, that's a possibility. 
All right. You have the Queen of Wands and the Seven of Swords and the Hermit card. So the Queen of Wands energy, Virgo, is energy of fire and passion and growth and um, creativity and your desires, you know, manifesting what you want, really, really um, working toward what you want to have in a relationship, putting in the work, making sure all the things are crossed and dotted, making sure that um, you're available to work on obstacles when they come up, right? When those mountains arise, making sure that you're there to to um, to work on them. But you have the Seven of Swords and the Hermit. And I just feel like you feel maybe not appreciated. Maybe you're being taken advantage of. Maybe um, your partner's taking more than his share of something. Maybe your partner's taking more of your time or your energy or your thoughts than they should be or you think they should be and it's making you want to retreat it's making you want to go in it's making you not want to be part of um that could be part of uh, i mean that's just kind of what i'm feeling that's what i'm getting with the cards it can also be where uh you know, something's going on behind your back that you don't know of. It can be making you feel alone. It can be making you feel um, almost like you're the one sneaking around. But with the queen, I just have to say, if you, if, and you could be a male watching this and the queen could be you. I'm just saying we all have an innate in, inner uh, ability to to know when something's awry or to know when something's off. So trust your gut instincts. Trust your gut instincts. Move forward with that knowledge if you have to. Your challenge for the month is a tower. Wow. Shaking things up a little bit, maybe having somebody, uh, maybe having your partner, you know, sit down and have a heart to heart with them, really coming clean, really getting things aired out, really, you know, airing laundry on both your sides, so to speak. You have a crack in the foundation and in order for it to heal, it has to be seen. And in order for it to be fixed, it has to be seen. And in order for you all to do something about it, it has to be seen. You can keep sweeping it under the rug, but it's still going to be cracking, right? You can ignore it. It's still going to crack. It's like if you have a leak in your ceiling, you know, oh, it only leaks when it rains, but it still leaks, right? So you still have it there until it gets fixed. It is there. And that's kind of this energy is there, Um you know, with your cards, that uh, that that mountain could be really high right now for you. What the action you need to take is the Nine of Wands. The action you need to take is to stay firm and stand your ground. To not let somebody put other words in your mouth. To not let somebody... Um, try to direct you in a different direction. To not let somebody, i.e. your partner... Um, try to tell you something different than what you know or um, I'm trying to word this try, try to make you not crazy but like oh you don't know what you're talking about you have no proof or you you know if you confront somebody with something and, and you don't have the proof but you have a knowing of it they might um they might try to, again, shove you under the rug to hush you up, to do whatever they have to do. But stand your ground. Be firm. You know, seeking the truth, looking for justice. You've got that sword. You're after, you know, things that are hidden. You're after things that are hidden. 
And it could be a long process that you've been doing this because of the Nine of Wands energy. And you know that it has, again, things have to be seen. Things have to be talked about. Things have to be resolved in order for it to move forward, if that is what you all want. Your partner has a magician, the devil, and the seven of cups. And right away with the magician and devil together, I see somebody that is trying to do smoke, smoke and mirrors. I see somebody that is trying to get away with something, trying to cr create a environment that is not, trying to, um, trying to present one thing and be another. Um, trying to maybe keep control of you in some way for some reason. Trying to stay one step ahead of you. The devil can be impulsive energy. It can be addictive energy. It can be very much a um, not healthy energy. And it can be addiction to a lot of things. Um, and it also can be control. And it can be holding. And it can be holding somebody back for, from their true potential. Your partner might be afraid of what you can really do. And you, you're presenting as a queen of wands here. You're presenting as strong and you're presenting as knowing yourself and knowing what you want and knowing how to, um, how to maneuver and get it. You know, you're not shy. You're not timid. And you're not going to stand back and let somebody try to um, pacify you. partner has seven of cups seven of cups is again that that confusion trying to uh, it's it's almost like the cup game right trying to keep things moving enough to keep you guessing or keep you confused how very interesting um, so with these cards, I would almost have to say that on the out or on the outside, everything presents as, as happy, hunky dory on the inside, everything is a struggle and that, um, you know, the man card, if it is your partner, be it man or woman, it is somebody that maybe, um, is, you know, especially with the ax, they're ready for battle. They're ready for a fight. They're ready, you know, they may look like they're ready for work, but they're not ready to put the work in. They may say they are, but it's actions and words is what I'm getting. Your partner's challenge is, you know, Your partner's challenge is to have patience and bring in balance to the relationship. Your partner's challenge is maybe to give you time. If you all have a heart to heart and if things blow up and things break down, to give you time to, to, um, to back off and let you have space. Your partner's Action is the Three of Pentacles, and that's working. Three of Pentacles is a card about working with others. So their action is to try to work with you on this situation. If indeed they want to save the relationship and you want to save the relationship, you all have to come together, and they have got to give you space, and they have got to give you time, and they have got to work with you. Not try to control you. Not try to tell you what you should feel. Not try to tell you how you should handle this. But give you space. Give you time. Give you the resources you need to heal. Answer your questions. My dog is right over to this side and keeps knocking down my lighting so that is what if you see the lighting kind of going wonky it is not my lighting it is my dog so I'm trying to get it reset up 
for you. All right. Yeah, it makes you want to retreat. It makes you, again, not want to be part of with the Hermit card. And your challenge is to see the crack, to fix it, or to acknowledge it, to talk about it. And I think their um, instinct is to, you know, uh, get more smoke and mirrors, get more confusion going. Um, take your mind off of this. Divert your t attention. You know, kind of like the magician, the sleight of hand. All right. I'm going to pull a love card for you all. For Virgo committed, please. Mystery. Keeps you guessing. Keeps you guessing. Right? Um, what mask will they wear today? What what um, what person will they be today? It almost feels like there's two cards there, but there's only one. I don't know where to put it. It's really good. It really goes well with the magician card. Who will they be today? Who will show up today? And again, if that's the kind of life you want to leave, live and you're living it, by all means. I'm just reading the energies. Again, it won't resonate with every single one of you. <laughs> uh, that I do know. Um, but if it does resonate with you and you don't want to live this lifestyle, you know, you see the crack in the foundation and you have to acknowledge it. And they have to come clean. They have to give you time. They have to have patience with you and back off and let you figure out what you want to do. A little bit of mystery in a relationship's fun. It can be fun at times. But when it's 24-7 and this person can change and be day and night, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde continuously then, you know, somebody needs to get some help or somebody needs to come clean or somebody needs to tell the truth. Communication. Again, feeling like, you know, something's going on behind your back and it could be... It could be... More than one, you know, especially if you're monogamous, it could be um, more than one person. She has two suitors. You know, the... The mountain is overcoming obstacles. <clears throat> Obviously, this can be overcome if you so choose. A lot, I think, is going to depend on your partner and how your partner handles this situation. How he or she comes clean about a situation or how he or she handles it. Again, the Seven of Cups, it's, it's confusion. It's, it's like, um, look over there, and I look over there, and I look over there, and you know? I think they can have um, a dream of what they want out of life. But when it's reality, and they're trying to juggle everything, it's a mess. And you just need to stand your ground. You need to be firm. Nine of Swords is battle weary. You're tired of thinking about it. You're tired of dealing with it. But you have to. Nine is also a number of completion, you know, 
of a cycle or completion of um, of something coming close to an end, of something close to completion, gaining wisdom from this, moving forward with it. It's almost like you don't even know who your partner is at times. Alrighty. Interesting. Wow. Interesting reading. Uh, let me know, Virgo, if this resonates. If you don't want to uh, tell me, you can just give me a thumbs up. That's fine. Um, if you want to leave a comment for me, I'd appreciate that. But again, you know, your partner's action is to, to work with you. To help you understand, to help you move forward, to help you um, you know, to really start being a partner if that's what they want, if if that's what you all decide on. Maybe go back into counseling, maybe go back into rehab or something like that. And it may be where you find out that this person's not who they said they were all along. They're not who they who they pretended to be all along. Wow. All right, Virgo. Do you let me know? Take care of yourself and each other. Um stay safe and healthy. Good luck this month. And thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourself and each other. Be blessed. Good luck. Bye for now.